I think I see. Yeah, there's definitely something here. Definitely. My Santa, you've changed. He's looking for Kit. The cat. Right, four legs fur, I remember. Uh. Sorry. You know, have you tried the shelter? Yeah, nothing. Well, she had her color on, right? With your number on it and everything? A very distinctive color, actually. Anyway, uh, thanks for looking. I'm sure you must be hungry after all that work. Oh, what work? <laughs> oh, that's just Piper. She's got to be everyone's mom. Think of her as your mom. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she a scream? Well, thanks. Um... Let me go put these flyers up first, and uh, I'll be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Mm. You all right? <laughs> yeah. Careful. Yeah, I'll just... And tea. Thanks. Grandma's. Yeah. Ooh, quite possibly the finest glutes in the city. The state. In all the land. Sell them first. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Prue, please come out. Not until you reverse this spell. Come on, it's been over an hour already. Do you think she's touching herself? The book doesn't say anything about a reversal. Maybe you're supposed to stay a man until you attract the succubus. Well, I'm not going anywhere. See? <sighs> you don't really have a choice. I'm thinking we need to get you to the dating service, since that's where the succubus picks her victims. That is actually a really good idea. She. He can sign up like the rest of the guys. I'm not signing up for anything. <sighs> Lives are at stake, Prue. Innocent men are going to die. Well, your sisters, Prue. You don't have to be embarrassed. We're not going to laugh. How can I save anyone? Okay, I look ridiculous. I am wearing clothes from the ex-boyfriend's pile. I have hair in strange places, and I have a penis. <laughs> this is so not funny. Oh. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I don't even care that it's Friday. <laughs> don't even say it. The 13th. See, I said it, and nothing happened. I need this today. Since when do demons use bullets? Maybe it's not a demon. Who else would want to kill us? Well, you know, you were a little sharp to the mailman yesterday, and we all know how testy they can be. It's me. Do you like bears? Okay. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't like things being waved in his face. Obviously. Well, let's do him. Ugh. Oh! Oh! That is ripe. Where does this kid live on? Wheatgrass? Well, I can change him. No, no. Oh, we got it. Phew. All right, I I've got hyperallergenic wipes, uh -huh. uh, uh, diaper rash cream, and, and super absorbent diapers. What are we supposed to do with the wipe? Just toss it in the bag. All right. Hey, hey, don't forget to clean up under his. Uh... <gasps> okay, so um, maybe only one of us should change him. Be my guest. All right. On the count of three. You ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. <laughs> boys will be boys. Bane. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what are you guys doing here? We're rescuing you from the tall, dark, and naked man. I told you to stay away. Yeah, now I know why. He is yummy. <clears throat> I don't believe this. We've been frantic, worried, sick about you, thinking you've been kidnapped. Yeah, I was. Panties. Oh, oh. <sighs> Thanks. Look, uh, 
You guys have really got this all, um, wrong. Yeah, we know. It's a trap. A tall, dark, and naked trap. <laughs> Hello, axe murderer! <laughs> okay, dead woman with a knife on her way. Leo stayed behind to calm down the... Where is everybody? <laughs> I'm being stalked by psycho killers and I hide in the shower. Not in the uh, bathroom with us. That's that's kind of good, right? Pretty little girl. <laughs> It's okay. The man is here to save the day. Billy, it's the 21st century. It's the woman's job to save the day. Billy, <laughs> show it! Right. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pet your knee. If you're happy and you know it, What the hell is going on? Do you think this is bad? You should have been here for Frere Jaca. They've been acting like kids since they got here. I, I didn't serve them, I swear it. All right, put on some music, any music, and kill that microphone. Hi! Hi! Lost your minds? Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. She was sparkly and she was really, really pretty. Okay, what ass backward spell did you guys cast? We, we, we didn't cast a spell. No, it is true, we did not cast a spell, but we did use fairy dust. Mm. Fairy dust? Yes. Okay, great. So you can go home now and reverse it, Tinkerbell. No, no. No, I am not a fairy. She thought I was. A... We have to show her. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three! <gasps> what the hell did you do that for? That did not work. No, work. That's a very good idea. I'm gonna go back to work now. Uh, you know what? You are being a big, 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 extra, 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 double big jerk right now. Because now I have the key, so Thistle is safe. And we have to be back with Kate at midnight. So when the trolls attack, no. You guys. <laughs> That's different. That's cool. <laughs> what did you do to me? Uh, hi. You know what? You're sort of frozen in midair, therefore, we'll be asking the questions. Okay? Who are you? Someone who's going to butcher you if you don't unfreeze me right now. Okay. <laughs> It was worth it. All right, 
You start talking, or we start the bonus round. I am Krell, a Zotar. Hi, I'm Prue, a Scorpio. Where's Balthazor? <laughs> Wait. Nothing is gonna keep us apart, I promise. Natalie! Yeah! Leo, sorry to interrupt, but we've got a major problem on our hands. Hey, I heard something. Oh! Natalie! Natalie! No, 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 oh! it's okay. She's a uh, white lighter. Natalie and I go way back. We were rookies together. Actually, we uh, fought together in World War II. All your charges need to know is I'm a white lighter. This is not a social call. I've come to warn the Charmed Ones that a warlock just killed my most powerful charge with this athame. I'm so sorry. Thank you. The real tragedy is that it didn't have to happen. I warned her to lay low and she didn't listen. She always refused to let her magic interfere with her life. And now a warlock has her power of deflection. Deflection? Wait a minute. Does that mean he could deflect our powers? Yes, which is why all white lighters have been put on alert. We have. I, why didn't I hear about this? Because you missed this morning's staff meeting. <laughs> you have staff meetings? With mandatory attendance. Unless a charge is in need, which Piper was, I had to heal her. Right. I'll assume a demon attacked your finger since healing is restricted to such circumstances. I believe the Charmed Ones deserve special attention. I've heard rumors about such special attention. And honestly, Leo. Uh, white lighter ease? Piper! Well, I guess we know what they're talking about. All right, you guys can chit-chat all you want. Me, I'm gonna go look in the Book of Shadows, okay? I'll go with you. I gotta look at that warlock. I might be able to identify him. All right, well, it's up in the attic. Attic? You mean the altar room, don't you? The rules are very clear. Every witch must keep their Book of Shadows in a sacred and protected spot. Right, of course. <laughs> look, maybe you can bring the book down here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just run up to the altar room, which, by the way, is right next to the potions lab, and I'll be right back. Guess what? My ethics professor kicked me out of class. What? Why? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. One minute I was telling him why my paper was late, and the next thing I knew, I was unzipping his pants with my teeth. Mm. Oh. Oh, Phoebe, you do know that charming the pants off someone is just a figure of speech, don't you? I don't know what came over me, Prue. I'm just glad that I realized what was happening before I... Ew. What are you doing? Just kicking back. Something is wrong with this picture. You need chips. I'll go get some. Oh, turn on MTV. I want to see Chris and Daly. He is so hot. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Sins in a box. Demon hunt. Real life. Can we please focus here now? What did they say about Lucas's sneak attack? I don't know. I didn't make it up there. I orbed halfway up and I got tired. What? Hey, after 60 years of constant vigilance, I think I deserve a little downtime. Pursuant to orders, I halted on our side of the river. Here you go, honey. Oh, thanks, sweetie. I'm gonna be, uh, thirsty soon. Oh, I'm gonna be ill soon. I'll get it. This isn't gonna work. I was born in 1924. No, you weren't. Okay. Off-white background. Black ink. Little trick I learned in high school. You're gonna forge my birth certificate? No. Just going to change one little number. So 1924 becomes 1974. And just like that, you are 50 years younger. Wait a minute, that makes you 27. That's younger than me. Maybe I should change another number. Piper, this is completely illegal. Yeah? Well, so is marrying a dead guy, okay? Let's not get technical now. Morning. What's up? Well, probably three to five years in jail if we're lucky. Never mind. Okay, but what happens if we don't find her before? Ooh. <laughs> Piper? <laughs> uh, okay, was it a demon? No, it was watermelon. Uh, honey, why did you vanquish watermelon? I didn't vanquish 
watermelon. I threw it up in the air and I tried to freeze it and it exploded. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Just write a spell, get rid of him. Uh, get rid of him? Well, you know what I mean. Dump him somewhere. Anywhere. With all the witches in this room, we ought to be able to do something with him. I mean, just start rhyming. Uh, take him back. Take him away. Remove him now. Don't let him stay. Uh, oh, uh, we call the spirits to help undo and send him off to... Timbuktu! Whoa, it worked. Timbuktu? You sent him to Timbuktu? All right, well, it was the only thing I could think of that rhymed with undo. Uh, <coughs> Evil got the Book of Shadows? How did Evil get the Book of Shadows? Oh, no. Oh, no, Phoebe? A demon has the Book of Shadows. Oh, no, doesn't quite cover it. Let me go see what I can find out. No, wait. Uh, Piper, promise me you're not gonna overreact. Is that even possible? I think that uh, maybe, well, it, it might, might be feasible that uh, Paige borrowed the book. What? <laughs> why, why, why? Why would you think that? You know, this is what I meant about overreacting. It's just that I... You let Paige take the Book of Shadows out of the manor. Well, no, I did not let her. It's just she left pretty quick, and it looks like she might have... Out of the window? Piper, I Phoebe, don't know. why would you even leave her alone with it? Well, because she's her sister. <laughs> not for long. <sighs> To vanquish your sister. <laughs> I think I'll sit this one out. What the hell is going on? Not funny! You mama some sugar! Who's the man? Who's the man? You are so. You are so. Busted? Hello. You stole our sacred book so you could perform magical plastic surgery on yourself? You think I did this on purpose? My body was perfectly fine just as it was, thank you. I made it! Get away from me! Piper, you could have just blown up a dozen innocent people. I took a chance. See, are you listening to yourself? What happened? I don't know. They just grew. Oh, right. And, and you had nothing to do with that. Did you cast any spells? One. Five. Five? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what did you do just before you turned into Betty Boop? Well, I cast a spell on the slime ball I work with so I could give him a taste of his own medicine. Uh-huh. That the slime ball? And that's the backfire. Backfire? You misused magic to make him the object of ogling, and the spell backfired and did the same thing to you. Which you would have learned if you had bothered to ask, but now, instead of vanquishing demons, we're gonna have to spend the afternoon fixing your mess. No. No. Whoa. <gasps> Paige. What? You only said I couldn't use magic to punish him. Okay. Paige, what are you doing here? This is ridiculous. It's like dealing with a teenager. I'm just examining him. Okay, first of all, you should not have left the club. Piper. Second of all, you should not be playing doctor with the demon boy. Piper. Third of all... Piper, he has no belly button. At least we came for you. TV. Paige and I are here now. We have the power of three. Can you say a spell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll figure this out. Paige, let's go over our options. Options? We have two. 
are screwed and are more screwed. We don't need negativity. We need solutions. Well, I'm sorry. I've never been shrunk and covered in clay before. Hey, you wanted to be partners, so work with me here, okay? Or you're right. We are screwed. Why do you run from me? Why are you chasing me? Because we are meant to be together. That is not true. Does this look like King Arthur's court, buddy? It doesn't matter. We're meant to conceive an heir, my love. Uh, stop saying that. You guys want some privacy? This is not funny. Please. Oh. I'm sorry, did I hurt you? You could never hurt me, my love. Piper, do that thing you do. I, I don't want to blow him up. Well, risk it. He's using his tongue. Oh. Thank God Chivalry is dead. He is getting on my last nerve. I didn't kill him, did I? <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, I find this side of you very sexy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You've been holding out on us. <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe, untie me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, all right. Stop obsessing. Not obsessing. What are you eating? Pockets of cookie. Not your wild. Got milk? Ooh, don't think so. Okay, just. Get me out of these things. We need to reverse this deal. What is it? What did you see? I saw the back of my eyelids. What did you think I saw? Oh, no, Phoebe, not you. Not, not you, too. Hurry up, Looney Tunes. Get me out of here. Mm. Ah. All right, I don't know what the hell is going on, but we got to get to the Book of Shadows and Sense. Evil can't touch it. It's still got to be in the attic, right? 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 Let's go. <laughs> Where's Phoebe? Who cares? Sorry. Had to grab my broom. For what? Well, for flying, silly. That doesn't make any sense. Looks like your ghosts still have unfinished business. OK, we got to find them before they kill somebody. But uh, first, is there a surveillance tape? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, no. <gasps> Piper. Uh-huh. You froze the crime scene. Uh-huh. You cannot freeze a crime scene. Well, I did. Uh, okay, we gotta protect Phoebe and Cole, so start wiping fingerprints. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I am sick and tired of you and your entire dysfunctional family unit. I will not falsify evidence. I'm a cop. Okay, cop, do I need to remind you that you bailed Cole out of jail last night? So? So I was wondering what you were going to tell your captain when he sees Cole on the surveillance tape. What are you waiting for? Go, go get the damn tape. I cannot believe that I am doing this. Shh, it's for a good cause. Check his pockets. Right, look, that's everything. Okay. Back in position. You good? Yeah. If you're here, I need you to come out to the open and, like, flag me down or something, okay? Hello? Oh, anyone? Hello? your help. Magic's got to be behind this. What are you doing? Oh, I get it. I get it, charades. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're a monkey. Yeah, okay. You're a monkey. Oh, you're an angry monkey. Oh, you're pissed. You're PMS monkey? No, no, of course not. Okay. 
Ball. Fireball. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The demon monkey stole my hearing. And your voice too. Oh, honey. I don't understand why you can't heal my eyes. I don't know. Your vision is just gone. Well, how is that? You hear something? I don't know. You hear puppets? I'll find Phoebe and Paige after I put the baby down. Where am I? In the conservatory. Just try and stay calm and try not to worry. You hear voices. Voices. I'm so glad you're here. I can't see a thing, and I wrapped my car around a pole, and I know Piper. it sounds crazy, but I think it has something to do with that mangy monkey. Piper! Where are you? Ow! Who put that there? Oh, my God. Piper, you're blind. Yeah, Phoebe, I just said that. Now, can we talk about how a monkey could do that? What did she say? What did who say? The monkey? The monkey didn't say anything. He covered my eyes and stole my eyesight. I think the monkey stole your eyesight when he covered your eyes. Oh, Phoebe, are you listening to me? That's just what I said. You are acting like you can't even hear me. Oh, Piper, it's no use. I can't even hear you. The monkey stole my hearing. Oh, he got you too, which means somebody sent that flea-infested primate after us. We've got to find Paige. Why are you clapping? This is not funny. What's the matter, Paige? Paige, where's Paige? What's going on? Huh? I see. Well, I don't. Where is Paige? Uh, she just can't talk. Excuse me. This is either someone's sick, sick joke or someone's working on a massive evil plan. Whatever it is, you guys are in danger without your senses. Piper, you're the most vulnerable. So I want you to stay next to Wyatt. His force field will protect you. Okay. Paige, a Kazi attack could be deadly right now. Make sure we're stocked up on stun potion. Where are we going? Phoebe, check the Book of Shadows. See what you can find out about evil monkeys and demons who control them. It's a unicorn. Yes, it is. In our kitchen. Is that another baby present, you think? Maybe? Yeah, the best one ever. Come here, Mr. Unicorn. Relax. Hey. Hey. Uh, Leo! Hey! I didn't know you were coming here. I can see that. Are you drinking beer? I was gonna pay for that. Chris, what are you doing sitting around here? Aren't you supposed to be getting to know your new charge? Oh, uh, hi, Leo. Okay, look, before you get mad, you are the one who wanted me to have a charge in the first place, remember? Yeah, to protect her. Oh, he was using protection. Yeah, I don't think that's what he meant. Chris, are you out of your mind? Daryl! Daryl! We're here! Stand by. It's okay, let her through. What took you so long? Well, it would have orbed here, but it could have been more magic than you had in mind. I'm not sure what you could have done anyway. He's not letting any of the hostages go, and SWAT's ready to move in. Well, forget that. I'm not giving up. This is my raison d'etre. Excuse me? Listen, I came to help. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, you know, what do you need? I don't know, if, if, if I could just talk to the kid about getting shot. I think I have the perfect spell for this. Oh, spell? What spell? Just go with me, okay? Blessed with powers from my destiny, I bless this hero with invisibility. How do you feel? Feels... Feels good. All right, go get him, tough guy. Yeah. Where's he going? There's no shoes. You better stay in there. Lieutenant, what are you doing? I got it. Don't worry. Hey, turn around! Get out of here! I swear to God, man, I'll shoot! I'll shoot you, man! I swear to God, I'll do it! 
Put your gun down, son. I just want to talk. That's okay. Hold your fire. I'm going in. No sweat. I got it. This dude turns all the job. Kicking butt and taking legs. Yeah, that's right. That's me. I got it. No sweat. Yeah. Give me five. Give me five. Give me some skin. How you doing? You looking good, Tess. Good, you look Good, How'd you do it, man? How do those bullets bounce right off of your chest like that? Because I'm a badass. That's why I'm What the hell was that? Shut up. Oh! 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 What the hell are you, man? All right, get out of the bottle. I command you. <laughs> Ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. <sighs> oh, how am I supposed to get back to Greg now with this? Is that all you care about? Would you look at me? I am trapped in pantaloons right now. Where is the mirror? Look. Oh, and why do I always get stuck with the wig? Trust me, you don't. Leo! Have you ever noticed that Leo was the first person you call in your time of need? Uh-oh. Yeah, right? Uh-oh. You want to make them do what? We finally got Dad in a good mood. And Mom, she's all sexed up for the fireman. This is the perfect time to hit him with the whammy. No, we are not going to make Piper and Leo sleep together, OK? We're going to do this my way, mister. Master. Oh, you know what? Uh, listen to me. I'm sorry, Phoebe, but I'm running out of time here. A guy's got to survive. I wish for Piper and Leo to sleep together tonight. I'm not. What was that? They're sleeping. You tricked me. No, you made me wish for them to sleep together. And they're sleeping together. <laughs> I think she can scare me. They're still asleep. Have you tried smelling salts? It won't work. Trust me. What's wrong with them? It's a long story. I don't know. Why don't you give me the Cliff Notes version? Come on, Chris. You and Leo and Phoebe have all been acting weird since before the demon attacked. What's going on? All right. I made a little wish. You did what? Two little wishes. Oh, great. It's not bad enough I have to worry about Richard, and I have to worry about you two. What did you wish for? For Leo to forgive me, which, by the way, was an accident. And? For Piper and Leia to sleep together. You! Oh, my God, you are sick. What is wrong with you? You're no. disgusting. You are some no, creepy no, registered no. sex offender no, from the no, future. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm Piper God, and Leo's you're son. So gross. What? They're my parents. I came back to save my family. You're serious? Yeah. Only now I gotta save myself. Because if my mom doesn't get pregnant in the next month, there is no me. This is also wrong. And this. It's been such a long day. Ow. <sighs> easy. Easy. Ow, easy. Watch the hair. Sorry. You doing okay up there, honey? Actually, I feel a little woozy. Well, maybe it's because we have you up too high. Are you sure you don't want me to move you down lower? No. I don't want Wyatt to see me like this. He will freak out. Well, you know, on the plus side, this is a great way for Wyatt to get out and socialize. If I had legs, I would kick you. Could you move this for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> so, whose bright idea was this anyway? We were trying to save you. Yeah, good job on that one. And who went and got her head stolen? While you were off contemplating your navel, while well, you still had one. Guys, we are not getting anywhere arguing. Actually, we're not getting anywhere because we don't have any bodies. OK, look, we said we were sorry. Can we try looking on the bright side? I mean, you know, we're still alive. Yeah, only because Zachary can't kill us in here. I don't think he would if he could. I mean, he practically apologized to us. I think she's right, actually. I didn't sense any anger from him, just 
A lot of sorrow. So, what, he did this to us just to get us out of the way? To do what? To get revenge on the school. And get in. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Maybe, maybe you should sit down for a second. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, 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 it, it's good. It's good. I mean, it's, you know, it's not bad. It's a, it's a really, it's a really good thing. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a really good thing, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, it depends. You know. Uh-huh. That sounds worse. No, it's, it's uh, just complicated. Okay, so why don't you guys just tell me what's going on? All right. Uh, Paige and I know what happened between you and Leo last night. <laughs> well, excuse me? Not because anybody told us or anything. It's just because of Chris. Chris? Why, why would Chris know what happened last night? Well, because he wouldn't be here if it didn't. Yeah, see, we've known for a while. We just didn't know how to talk to you and Leo about it. Talk to us about what? Is this my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris is your son. Wyatt's brother. Look, I know this is huge. No, it's, it's not huge because it's not possible. It's crazy because I'm not pregnant. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. I mean, how could that happen? I mean, I know how that could happen, but it... What am I gonna do? Maybe you should talk to Leo about it. No, I can't. Why? Well, because, because, because I can't. This is a bad time. Well, you never know. Something could happen. Oh, don't be such a warrior wart. Now you're starting to sound like... Hey. Chris. Okay, if this is about demons, I don't want to hear it, because I am on my lunch break. No, no, no. I was just wondering how it went with the doctor. Well, you'll be happy to know that you're a boy. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I don't see it. Oh, see, it's this little thing but, right whoa, here. excuse me. Do you mind? <sighs> All right, I was a little... Worried about the force field. What force field? The one she had when she was pregnant with Wyatt. Wait, you had a force field with Wyatt, but not with me? Well, I didn't have one. He had one. It was all his doing. Uh, from the womb? He had powers from the womb? That's unbelievable. It's not like I don't have an inferiority complex with him already. Thank you. Something you're not telling me? Uh, actually, no. Look, he's going to find out sooner or later, and I'm going to bust. Find out what? If he's gonna help us, we're gonna have to tell him. It's Piper's business. Tell me what? Ooh, Chris is your son. Don't we all feel better? I know, I feel so much better. No time to dawdle, there's a baby on the way. Guys, this is crazy, you can't leave like this. Well, we can't very well ignore Chris's birth. We have to celebrate. I'm the baby. I give you permission not to. What? I don't understand how could this have happened. Beats the hell out of me. Isn't she beautiful? what I'm seeing. Tell me about it. When was the last time you saw Piper grab Leo's ass? That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, we need to do something quickly. Good, you're here. Come and meet your new... Uh, yeah, just so we're clear, if I don't like this person, we can find someone else, right? Absolutely. It's your column. You gotta be happy with him. Him? What? I'm sorry. Him? I, uh, I better call you back. Hi. Uh, I hope it's okay. I just wanted to get started. Leslie? 
Surprise! Hmm. Expecting a girl, weren't you? Well. Yeah, so are my folks. That's how I got the name. You can call me Les. Now, before you say no, just hear me out. He had his own advice column in Philly, and it was totally hip, very hot, a perfect match for yours. Hot, huh? Wow. Oh, my, not again. He's relocating to L.A. in a couple of months, which works out perfectly for how long you want to be away. That's great, Elise, but uh, he's a, a, a man. Is that a problem? Uh, well, uh, most of my readers are, are women. And you don't think a man can give advice to women? Oh, uh, no, actually not as well as a woman can, no. Well, what about Dr. Phil? Uh, Dr. Phil is a doctor, right? Dr. Phil. Ah, uh, so a man can give advice to a woman if he's a doctor. That's not what I meant. Well, that's what it sounded like. But are, are you feeling all right? Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling all right. I'm great. Are you kidding? Because you don't look like you do. What, are you a doctor now, too? Actually, I am. Of psychology. I wrote my doctorate on women's intuition. <laughs> I aced it. I bet you did. Phoebe! <sighs> Yes, that means I got the job. Huh. Shoot. What rhymes with communicate? Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course I'm sure. But what about uh, the whole personal gain thing? Wyatt created a demon who kidnapped him and a dragon that nearly destroyed the city. I'm not real worried about personal gain. I don't know. I guess just because I'm a white lighter now, I have to think of these things, right? Besides, we're casting it on ourselves, so we can try to understand what he's not telling us. So if I switch this and I leave that... Okay. Help this mother understand the thoughts inside her little man. Though his mouth be quiet, let us hear his inner Wyatt. Mom? It's me. Wyatt. Wow. Mom, look at you. You look great. Right. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you're as surprised to see me as I am to be back. Yeah. Back from where? The future. Oh, no, 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 no. We wanted to communicate with you. I mean, the younger you, the two and a half year old you. Well, if there's one thing you guys taught me, magic may work in mysterious ways, but it always works. Where'd you hear that? That's nice. I'm surprised to hear you ask. In the future, you're always telling me that. Huh. Well, that's the future me. I'm me now, who clearly doesn't have those kind of brilliant thoughts. <laughs> right. Look, all I'm saying is, if your spell brought me here, there's got to be a good reason. Oh, uh, I don't know. Do you remember anything about what you were going through when you were two and a half? Uh, no, not really. So then we're still looking for that reason. But still, this is a fantastic opportunity that Magic's brought us. I mean, for me to see the past, for you guys to learn about the future? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to know anything about the future. We don't want to risk changing it again. Again? Ugh, don't ask. Okay. Until we find out why magic brought me back, we could at least try and enjoy the moment, right? How did you become such an optimist? From you, Mom. Ah. You must have turned over a new leaf in the future. Don't count on it. So that doesn't help us with our Wyatt. No. Piper, are you home? OK, the professor gave me some information that I think will be useful. Who is he? Aunt Phoebe, it's me, Wyatt. Why what? <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. <gasps> what, did a spell backfire? <sighs> How'd you guess? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, what did your professor say? Well, she said that he probably was talking to an imaginary friend. I mean, not, not y you, you know, the, the other you when you were, this is going to be so confusing. You'll get used to it. Okay, imaginary friends, ring any bells for you? I'm afraid not. She also said that he's a little young for an imaginary friend. I mean, again, not you, just... I got it. Right. 
Oh, a tewa. Sorry. What language is that? Maori. Your New Zealand charge, right? I remember hearing about him. Yes, well, he can wait because I think this is a little bit more important. I thought you said there's nothing more important than your charges. Look, mister, I'm pulling double duty here, okay? So no guilt from the future for me. Okay, you know what? Can we focus on helping him, please? Look, all I'm saying is someone always told me that white lighters are the glue that keeps the magic world working. Oh, Paige told you that? Don't be so surprised. Do I ever have a life in the future? You should go, really. We we'll figure this out. Etewa. Okay. So you guys cast a spell to communicate with me, right? So let's go talk to me. Dad! Hey, look at you. You haven't changed a bit. Maybe a little less gray and a few pounds lighter. What? Future son. Hey, is this Chris? Oh my gosh, he's so small. Hey, little brother. Is this before or after he swallowed the marble? Marble? What marble? Easy on the future information. Of course, you're right. No, but really, what marble? You want to explain what's going on? Apparently, they brought me here to figure out what's wrong with me. Is that still my room? Explain. Look, I didn't want to come here in the first place, okay? Our problems are not magical, Leo. They're normal. They were caused by magic. That's why we're here. No, we are here because you didn't care what I wanted. You just cared what you wanted. How many times a day do you have sex? A day? What are you, crazy? No wonder you wanted to see him. Are you kidding me? Really? Hang on. Ah, shucks, look. Family emergency, gotta go. Just remember, it is always darkest before the dawn. this for a reason. I am not going to spend the rest of my life tinkling standing up. Uh, actually, guys don't tinkle. Wait. Hey, you guys, will you knock it off? You're driving me crazy. Look, either you find a spell to reverse this or you find a magical divorce attorney. <laughs> hey, Sam, how's it going? Uh, wow, that's quite a handshake, Piper. That's because I'm Piper and that's Leo. Uh, yeah, it's a long story. Don't ask. We'll be upstairs. We got a few things to work out. Gee, you think? Uh, and Paige thought Billy could help you. She's really good. Upstairs, mister. <laughs> hey, watch the face, will you, Leo? I just got a peel. Would you please just try to find a spell to change us back? I know what I'm doing, Piper. People who know what they're doing don't cause explosions. You know, it's one thing to have my wife constantly criticize everything I do. It's another thing when you do it for my own body. Well, since I figure you never listen to me, you might listen to yourself. No romantic dinners, no walks on the beach. There is no way I can be inseminated. I tried, I just couldn't do it. It didn't feel right. That's gross. No, what's gross is me pushing the issue because of some stupid premonitions, you know? I want love first. I want what you guys have. Not today, you don't trust me. Why, what's going on? Talk to your sister. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did Wyatt switch you guys again? No, it was a marriage counselor. Actually, it was a gardener, and it was Leo's fault. <sighs> okay, that's too weird. Never mind. We'll figure it out. How's uh, Billy doing downstairs with JD? There's nobody downstairs. What? That's not true. Okay, maybe we should all just sit down and... I told you coming here was a mistake. No, the mistake was me thinking you guys could know that this hurts me too. Why do you always do this to us? Because she doesn't care about us, that's why. I don't care about you? You guys are cold-hearted assassins! Thanks, huh? Hmm. 
тобой. Titania. The best. Best gun. Where'd you get that? I don't know. But I like it. <laughs> Me too. What is going on? Piper, what did you put in our food? Food was in the food. Okay, Thank well, you. How do you explain this? Well, don't look at me. She's the one that's an assassin. It's a figure of speech. Well, apparently not. Mom? Dad? Excuse me? Who are you? I'm your daughter. Billy? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's talk over here. You guys just don't mind us. Just keep grossing me out over there. How did this happen? I have no idea, but we have to figure it out fast. Okay, why don't you two go upstairs and check the books, see if you can find anything that will help them, and I will stay here and keep an eye on Mr. and Mrs. there. Piper? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Your parents jumped me. The last time I invite them to dinner. Easy, easy. They beat your freeze? I didn't even have a chance. They're fast and they're dangerous. What do you mean? They said they were going to find some real action. What does that mean? The only action I remember them looking for growing up was bowling night. Hmm. Well, now apparently they're looking for an arsenal. Dad is taking the boys to the zoo. Wow, excuse me. Hello, hi, sorry to interrupt, but you know, ultimate power, <laughs> mysterious things. Gotta go, tick tock. Right, right, exactly. Uh, you should probably go and think on, you know? Yeah, uh, we'll um, <clears throat> talk to you later. Okay, yeah. Hey, Chris. Listen, buddy. <laughs> hide and seek. You wanna play hide and seek? Okay, where's Wyatt? Can you find Wyatt? Can you use your powers to bring him home, please? <laughs> oh, and a boy, slugger, and a boy. <laughs> Are you getting any of this? Whatever, as long as we're alive again, that's all I care about. Plus, it's really nice to see you guys again. Actually, we've never met. Yeah, we have, but you were a ghost. Oh, does she know? Yes, yes, we know. We're both dead by now. We're over it. Why you speak for yourself? I, I mean, we don't know what happened. One minute, everything's fine. We're kicking demon ass. Actually, I was kicking some demon ass. Oh, Watch your language. Uh, sorry, Grams. Wait, Grams? As in the Grams? Yeah. Confused. Uh, are these my future grandkids or yours? N no, yours. Oh, hi. <laughs> As you were saying. Suddenly, in the middle of all the fighting, everything changed. And the demons started kicking our ass butts. Butts. Just because Wyatt here lost his powers. Wait, how did you lose your powers? That's the thing, we don't know. So we cast a spell to take us back to when they were lost, and it took us here, to you. Maybe we messed up something without realizing it. Well, with all the jumping around we've done, it's wonder everything's not messed up. No, it's got to be Billy and Christy. They used the hollow to steal his powers. I'm going to kill them. Well, before you do that, we need to get Wyatt's powers back. Otherwise, there's uh, not going to be any future to save. Well, I think the only way to do that is to go back and stop them. But how do we know exactly when to go back to? I'll know. Or at least I'm hoping little Wyatt might jog my memory. Well, he's at Dad's. I mean, Grandpa's. Um, do you remember how to get there? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go too. Uh, but Dad's gonna be there. I know. <laughs> I miss him. Besides, I'm dying to know what he looks like at this age. <laughs> she, uh, doesn't know. Apparently, I hadn't chased him away yet. What are you talking? What don't I know? All right. 
Everybody go, but just, you know, hurry back if you find anything. Hey. Phoebe. Hi. Thanks a lot for telling me she's alive. You're welcome. Uncle Coop. Uncle Coop? What? All right, everybody out. Go. Okay, let's get to the condo and get to the book. Wait for me. Wait. What's going on? Hey, Gramps, how you doing? Chris! <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Hey, Grandpa, how you doing? Now, this is our grandson, Wyatt. Oh, so handsome. But I, I'm, 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 I'm so confused. Yeah, you'll get over it. I did. Where did you come from? 1975. How do I look? D didn't anyone tell her we're divorced? You dumped me for your white lighter. Oh, Sam? <laughs> Sam, Paige's father. Listen, Gramps, we're in a bit of a jam. Where's little Wyatt? He's in the other room with, uh, with you. Thanks. Oh, come on, Patty. It's all right. Uh, it's a long time ago. Hey, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm looking for my wife. She didn't come home last night. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Of course I'm okay. I mean, we weren't okay, okay, but now we're okay, and I think in the future we're gonna be... I think we're gonna be more than okay. Okay? Don't tell me she marries a white light or two. Worse, a mortal. Oh, good God. <laughs> Didn't I teach you girls anything? Hey, what can I say? There's always Uncle Coop. 